So first thing you're going to do is you're going to close out of uh, Epic Games Launcher. Now you're going to go to Program Files x64, Epic Games, the Launcher, Portal, Extras, Overlay. And now you're going to rename both of these executables to uh, .old something or whatever. Rename it to whatever you want. Basically what this does is it disables the Epic Games overlay, which will result in a crash if you install the mod. Now we're going to download the CyberFSR, which is the one from Nexus mod. You need two files from this one. The rest of the mod you don't need. I already have it downloaded here. Just uh, extract these two files out of it and then run the one that says enable. Press yes and then OK. Now I'm going to go to my Alan Wake 2 folder. And for this game we need the version 0.7.3 and then the 2.20 version. Which is uh, the one for FSR 2.2. Just download it from the official Discord. Once you've done that, extract and copy paste the files into the uh, folder where the executable is. So now all you gotta do is close all your overlays. So MSI Afterburner, River Tuner, Discord, whatever, disable all overlays. Close out all programs that have an overlay. And now we can uh, launch the game and it shouldn't crash. It still does sometimes. Because it's not very stable. But I, it, uh, it works. Once you're into the game, go to your options. Graphics and then uh, select DLSS. And enable DLSS frame generation. So now I'm going to load the game and it should work. You can see a little bit of the ghosting on the character, that is unfortunately still a problem, but I uh, I think it will be solved in a future update. So I still found one issue, when uh, you close out of the game and then you restart the game, it will crash. And I found out that every time you run the game it will create this file here, and if I delete that it will not crash anymore. So if you're also getting crashes after restart, this might fix it by deleting uh, that file.